Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone. I am Mrs. Swanati from Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today we are going to see about face recognition in deep learning. Face recognition means we are going to identify the individual persons from the photos, videos or in real time. Uh, this is mainly used as a biometric security. Today, technological era, many are using a face recognition in their phone to unlock the uh, to unlock their phones or going to unlock their uh, private apps, WhatsApp, Instagram like that. First, we are moving into a face recognition. You have to know about for what is mean by face detection and uh, how face detection and face recognition is differ. Face detection is, uh, is someone we are going to locating or identify the face of a individual. After we are going to locating, uh, locating or uh, identify those face, we are going to building a box of one face. Next, we are going to a face recognition. Face recognition is nothing but we are going to confirming the, those bounding faces matches that person face or not by using some uh, already stored images or videos or a real time data. So these are the four steps involved in a face recognition. First one is a face deduction. Face deduction is we are going to detect or identify the person face by building a bounding box of the face. Next is a face alignment. Face alignment is nothing but we are going to extract the features of the face. Uh, by using a face uh, alignment, we are going to get an accuracy of 1%. Third is a face extraction. Uh, face extraction is we are going to identify or extract the local features of the face like our eyes, mouth, nose and all. Last is a face recognition. We are going to match us the face if the extracting a local face and the uh, image stored in our database or similar or not. So this is the process in face, deduct, uh, face recognition. First is a we are going to give a input face. So first step we see in us a face detection. So in the face detection, we are going to building a box in the face. After we building the box, we are going to give a face alignment step. In the face alignment, they are going to extract the face from the bounding box. Next, we are going to giving that into a face extraction. In the face extraction, we are they are going to extract the local features like eyes, nose and mouth and all. So, uh, here we are going to extract the face and giving into a feature classification or some other methods which we are going to use. Next, we are going to compare that by using our uh, database stored in the uh, stored in our gallery or uh, in some videos, images or not. So we are giving some gallery input. We are going to match the local features and the gallery images. If it is matches means so we will get the images. Uh, this person is similar person. If it doesn't matches means we will get the output as a uh, this person is not a similar person. So finally we will go into our accuracy. Next is the important step, deep face. If some persons are using mask, coolers, means uh, how the face recognition is going to work. For that purpose, we are going to a deep face. If the person are using a mask itself, we, we will identify the local features from the uh, eyes and all. Eyes and the that, uh, forehead and all, we will identify the face. Here, it is the main framework from Python. It is called as a state to the odd step. Okay, here there are three modules we are going to use. One is a deep face, open CV and the mat plot. This is the diagram architecture how the deep face is going to work. First, we will give the input face, the person who wears the mask. Next is the gallery image which we have in our database. So, the mark, uh, masked person is given into a feature uh, face processing and segmentation here. Then it move into a feature extraction. We feature extraction means it will extract the feature which is our local features, our eyes, forehead, and the eyebrow length and all. After we extract the fo fo those features, we move into a mask detection. If the mask is occur means we are going to remove the mask. If, after we removing the mask, we will get the images of face unmasking. Last, last is a face. Uh, recitation face recitation means nothing but the above uh, what are the face which is unmasked face we get that is called as a face recitation output so which is going into a last step and that is how we are going to mm, 
we are going to matches the uh, gallery image as well as the uh, face rotation image which is uh, verified if, if it is same one to one if we give an image and the gallery image is same means it will give us a one to one match which is recognized if it is not same means it will uh, it will give the message unrecognized this is how deep face will work next is we will take one example as a use case this is a oscar award function as an example this is the one image uh, we will get from the uh, award function here you can see all are in the different face uh, uh, not as a same uh, like this image it is in the different angle different uh, uh, one is right view one is upper view uh, this and all a blurry image you can see all the images so for that images we are going to use a deep face so we seen previous as a deep face our three modules deep face open cv and mat plot so the deep face we are going to use in a python first we have to install deep face open cv and the mat plot in the python next we are going to uh, import all the libraries in the python so from deep face import deep face cv2 and the mat plot so this is how implementation is going to work first we are going to verify we are going to verify the first person and the image we are giving from the gallery so image one path and image two path so first we are going to read from image one and the next is image two first we are going to use a mat plot to plot so plot dot i am show so first image we are going to plot and we are going to show the first image second image going to use and we are going to show the second image we are going to use deep face dot verify here we are going to call this algorithm to verify whether the image one and image two are e same or not if it is verification is equal to output dot verify if the verification is equal to that verified image if image one is image two is verified means it will give the output they are same if the image one is image two is not uh, the same person means it will give they are not the same you can see this is our final output we given this image as a first image this is the second image so it plot image one and image two so the both images are verified and it's a same image so the output is they are the same so this is how the face recognition is work in the deep face you can give the image uh, here they detect the face features you can see the, the face detection it marks the all of the uh, all of the face in the by using some neurons next it going to a face template creation here in the face template creation is the face extraction uh, is going to work here you can see all the forehead is marked and the nose and the forehead is marked and the nose was marked the mouth is marked the cheek is marked so the face template is marked means it will move on to the uh, final face that is a uh, uh, ma face mapping so here they are going to uh, use two mapping skills one is a one to one mapping the previous example is one to one mapping next is a one to n mapping one to one means that both images we will given if this one image and the, uh, the first image and second if images map means is it is a one to one match next we will give one image and we will give the path we will give the path means the list of images which is uh, similar to the given image means we will get the all the images in the identification part the uh, if and the one to n matching we given the image path first image we given second image we given the database so second image we given on directory In the directory there are so many images or the so we given first image this is the one image we given this is the images we got these are the similar images of this face so what are the challenges we are facing in uh, face recognition first is a pose if some person is posed like us like this uh, right side facing right uh, left side facing or diagonal facing it is a first challenges second is a face expression we can't detect if a face uh, pose itself we can use deep face but if you are using face uh, expression means how we can tell if the person is crying or uh, uh, or uh, if the person is sad angry we don't know next is illumination illumination is, is nothing but the low light and all if a 
person is taking in the low light or a darker place is called a illumination that is a poor lightning last is resolution resolution you, you know it's a blurry image if the pixels are break if the legs pixels are low uh, that are uh, low resolution images and all uh, we have uh, many much challenges to identify the feature of the face next is uh, uh, you can see this is the illumination image illumination image is nothing but the poor lightning you can see it is a very dark lightning next is a pose it is a you can see this is a uh, right side pose so it is also very complex to detect the face to extract the face from the left side and all it's very difficult next is a illumination plus a expression expression you see here is a uh, this person is crying so we can't identify the crying person images because the facial feature will be differ when we are crying or sad or angry so this is overall illumination expression as well as the pose you can see the person is crying the lightning also poor light the pose is also in the right side so this is the challenges so what are the the, the challenges by the individual these are the convolutional challenges this is and all we can't regret one is a uh, difficult shooting uh, why you are uh, taking a photos in the outside uh, while it is a uh, very sunny you are going into some dark place to take photo bins it's a very like black photos will come the poor lightning uh, next is a face turned so if you are uh, in uh, some award function and all you don't know uh, whether they are taking photos or not so it is a face turned or diagonal in the we can't uh, regret those photos next is our sunglass uh, in the pandemic and all we all wear that mask and all in the sunny it, uh, nowadays and all sunny reason sunny so we are going to use uh, coolers to wear so for the mask and coolers we can't regret that so it is one of the convolutional cha changes next is the aging in the database we have the uh, persons in the previous small uh, small photos now they become very aged uh, in the 10 years itself the facial will change about aging and the double chin uh, that uh, wrinkles will come to the person so aging this and all we can't regret to do a face recognition application where and all face recognition is work in the both private sectors as a government sectors the face recognition is going to work in the government sectors and all uh, law enforcement in the prison um, uh, in the face uh, other and all they are using uh, face recognition the commercial sector commercial sector is nothing but the health care and the day care day, day care for uh, children as well as for elders they are using and the banking sectors atm and all they are using uh, face recognition um, and the residential security in the neighborhood security they are using facial recognition advantages of facial recognition uh, the main uh, advantages to find the missing person if we are going into a police they will search the person by using the facial features by uh, seeing all the cctvs so if the facial features means we, they can identify this person as located this camera so we can identify our person uh, as easily next is a uh, protects our business from theft if we install some cctvs we can extract if theft is happen means we can identify the person who is uh, belonging to the theft next is a uh, strength uh, security to avoid the security we can use uh, face recognition and reduce the touch points next is a uh, photo uh, improves the photo organizations next is a uh, benefits as i already told uh, uh, it's a uh, one of the biometric security uh, if some person has come and uh, get your phone or theft your phone means they can't unlock your phone because you have a biometric uh, face recognition on your phone likewise greater security faster service in the kyc no wonder kyc is happening so for the kyc it's a very faster service the banking sectors uh, the financial sectors are using a uh, kyc for the faster service next is a uh, better customer experience as same uh, not only uh, not only the K, uh, kyc or now and all uh, the online musical system online music class online tuition class uh, online gymnastics uh, online exercise and all come so it is a best customer experience to uh, use that next is a uh, 
crime rate is very low when when you are using a face recognition uh, when or uh, if the place is uh, fully secured in a cctv means the crime rate is very low because they will know here yeah, cctv is there so don't do it like that okay next is a integration with other technology yeah in this slide itself we are using deep learning so it is integration with other technology not only the deep learning ai machine learning iot uh, cctv means we are using iot so here and all they are integrating with other technologies so this is and all we seen in our um, today's lecture one is a face detection face recognition what are the steps involved in the face detection and uh, recognition next is how to implement the face deduction uh, on recognition and use case example as a award ceremony and uh, what are the challenges we face in the face recognition and advantages of face recognition thank you